okay, you already know this is Punch, Drunk, Boxing, a.k.a. Mr. Moon. Who <laughs> shot himself? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know Jaime Munguia, the phenom in 168 pound division, is stepping right back in the ring this Saturday for the fourth time this year. Let me say it again. For the fourth time this year. I said, let me say it again. For the fourth time this year. Ese tigre mata tan, señores y señoras. Ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know that Jaime Munguia did lose to Canelo Alvarez this past Cinco de Mayo. Y'all already know Canelo Alvarez, el rey de boxeo, a.k.a. King Nelo, a.k.a. Cartelo, a.k.a. Cash Nelo, a.k.a. Payday, a.k.a. Que te fuck out of here, man. Como le dijo a Demetra André, Canelo Alvarez, that's him, my friend. Yes, but he beat Jaime Munguia. But Jaime Munguia did what we, what we want young fighters to do when they do, you know, taste defeat when they don't perform very well to the expectations or match the expectations he went back to the drawing board kept his mouth shut went back to work went back to the lab got an opponent undefeated stopped him tko now he's gonna be back in the ring this saturday versus another undefeated fighter undefeated fighter named bruce eh, suguras or something like that susursa i go i see un pelagato i don't know my friend but somebody you know at least he's undefeated um, getting his motivation back, getting getting back to the rhythm of things, getting back to the winning column and things of that nature, and he's doing the proper stuff. He did just he didn't take um, that experience and and you know and, and didn't take fully advantage of it. It seems like he's taking a, the, a full advantage of the experience that he did uh, um, losing. Chasing defeat to Canelo Alvarez and stuff like that. You already see Canelo Alvarez when he lost to Floyd Mayweather. Look at the star that he became. Look at the fighter that he became. You know what I'm saying? He added more to the toolbox. Went back to the drawing board. Became more of a complete fighter. And that's what you can see Jaime Mugia trying to do. Now, he's doing the opposite of what I think. or what Not what I think. What people allege Edgar Belanga is doing. See, see, it didn't seem when Jaime Mugia lost to Canelo Alvarez. It didn't seem like Edgar, um, Jaime Mugia felt like he won. Oh, I won 12 rounds with Canelo Alvarez. I win. I win. Yes, I'm the best. Parade of the parade in Mexico. There was none of that. But Edgar Belanga, he said he's the face of boxing after losing to Canelo Alvarez. I said, hey, Rilaki, my friend. Rilaki. <laughs> Edgar. <laughs> had a parade. <laughs> had a mini parade out there in Puerto Rico. Yeah, I know. Shout out to the Boricua. Shout out to all the Puerto Ricans. New York City. Brooklyn. Harlem. Latino. Y'all yeah, already know, man. But damn, Edgar Belanga. Rilaki. Rilaki. Lock it. You ain't win. Damn. You're, you're parading like you won the fight. That's what it seems like. He said he's the face of boxing. A parade. He, you ain't win. Tu no ganaste. Mi mano calm down, my friend. <laughs> Man, that's like going to the prom as a senior, but you ain't even graduate. You just went to the prom, but you ain't graduate. Yo, people's is graduating. You get you you get in the cap and gown. You gotta you gotta go back to summer school. Echo, you gotta go back to summer school and pass the math regions and stuff like that. Man. But two different type of mentalities, right? Jaime Mugia and Edgar Belanga. See, because I would like Edgar Belanga to take that type of experience, go back to the drawing board, fix what he need to fix, add what he need to add, right? And y'all already know that they announced that he's going to be fighting Gabriel Zotto. That's a fight that I've been wanting Canelo Alvarez, I mean, Edgar Belanga to face before fighting um, Canelo Alvarez. You know what I'm saying? I think it would have been good. Uh, Puerto Rican Day Parade. Gabe Rosado, who is our Puerto, uh, who is our American and Puerto Rican. Derek Chisora. Y'all already know Derek Chisora. He lost millions of times <laughs> in the UK. But people still respect him because the way that he goes out there and fight and performs and his effort is, a, is, is at a honey. The same thing with Gabe Rosado. Gabe Rosado is coming out of retirement and stuff like that. Um, I think this is more of a... Of an attraction fight, no disrespect, because I think you put it here in New York City Mar uh, uh, in March or in Puerto Rico. I think it's better in New York City because he could bring those Philly fans. Um, Gay Rosado's from Philly. I think he could bring those Philly fans, you know what I'm saying, uh, in Madison Square Garden. And I think they'll do a good show. But whatever they do, whether it's Puerto Rico, whether it's, whether it's, it is, it's here, it's going to be a good show. But I want, I want Edgar Belanga to take full advantage of the experience that he had and taste the defeat versus Canelo Alvarez. He won a whole 12 rounds with Canelo Alvarez. He didn't get them more realized. Jaime Munguia didn't get them more realized. But, but we could see two different type of mentalities. You know what I'm saying? What they're showing us. Maybe this is the way that Edgar Belanga is doing just to, so he can market himself and advertise himself so he could become that, that, that type of star. So he could try to become the face of boxing like he said he is after a loss. It was just kind of like... No, I don't want, see, I don't want Edgar Belanga to look at himself like a loser. I don't believe that nobody's a loser here. You see the title, you see the thumbnail, but I don't, I don't believe that Edgar, I don't believe that that's experience 
they lost. I think they won in 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 experience. I think they won in knowing where where they where they at, where they could be, where they could go. You feel me? Because they 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 arguably arguably face the best. And we see the levels of Canelo Alvarez. We've seen the levels of Edgar Belanga. And he could go back to the drawing board. And I'm not necessarily saying that he's going to be a Canelo Alvarez or even with Jaime Mugia going to be a future Canelo Alvarez. But I could see that I believe that Jaime Mugia is going to have an epic 2025 year. Just like Parker had it because they kept themselves in the mix. They kept themselves humble. They kept themselves dialed in. They wasn't demoralized mentally, physically. And look, been fighting, been fighting is, is about to fight four times this year. So, Egobalanga is going to be fighting Gabriel Zotto. You know, I think he could have got a good fight in the end of the, uh, end of this year, probably d- December. I, I, I believe that Egobalanga should have should have got back in the ring. He didn't get no cuts. He didn't get demoralized. Like I said, he didn't get hurt too bad. Um, no suffer concussions on things of that nature. Yeah, he got dropped, but that was that that was all right. That was early in the rounds. Um, it's something that he could be proud of his performance because, of course, a lot of people didn't think that he could even make it past the six, seven rounds. So he exceeded the expectations in terms of performing wise. But a lot of people did feel like he was going to taste the feet anyway. Um, but you shouldn't feel like you was a winner. You, um, you, you should. You, you, but, but you should still have confidence. That was a that was a uh, that was a confidence builder defeat. Which is still way positive at that age. Not everybody gonna be undefeated. Not everybody gonna be Flo Mayweather and stuff like that. But you want the mentality. You 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 want to, um, you know, uh, you want that type of confidence and hard work ethic to be contagious with the guy that you just fought. Um, I think a, a better opponent for for Egobalaga could have been Jamal Charlo. Could have been um. Uh, uh, um, Kaelin Plant could have been Demise Andre, in my opinion. Uh, maybe a Diego Pacheco. This one, I don't know if it's gonna, even though, even though that I know that Gabe Rosado is gonna show heart, grin, determination. Um, but I think that Gabe Rosado seems like he's one foot in and one foot out of retirement. He just finished coming out of retirement. He's not that young. Um, he's taken punishment before, but he's durable as a human being, as a fight, as, as a person with a fighting spirit. And that's why a lot of people do cheer for Gabe, Gabe Rosado. Um, could he push Edgar Belanga to the limit? I got to see where, Edgar, where, where Gabe Rosado was at. But um, I want Edgar Belanga, you know what I'm saying? He could be he could be the, the, the pride of Puerto Rican boxing after Amanda Serrano does retire. You got Xander Zayas out there. You got Subre Matias who lost. Um, it's, you know, I, I think that the um, he could captivate that type of imagination, the emotions, um, with a great victory in this next outing. Um, I just... I just it just seems like he's he's um satisfied with that with, with, with that outcome with that performance you know what I'm saying I think he's too happy uh and and I see Jaime Mungia hungry that's what I see I see the hunger I see that Jaime Mungia is going it seems like he will take it to the next level and I, I and I'm predicting that he's going to have a, a, a fight. He's gonna be a fight, a fighter of the year candidate, 2025. I'm predicting if he keeps that that type of momentum, we probably see Jaime Mugia versus Kalen Plant. If he gets in the ring with Kalen Plant and beats Kalen Plant, then you know what I'm saying. He's gonna he's, he's gonna be a, a, a fighter the, fighter of the year. You know what I'm saying. Um, you know, uh, uh, nominee. So. Hope Egabalanga does get one of those guys, like I did mention, or even Jaime Mungia. Jaime Mungia could fight Kalen Plant, Demetrius Andre, Diego Pacheco, um, Jamal Charles. We gotta see Jamal Charles back in the gym, but he's always we always we always reporting he's back in the gym. Hopefully, you know, um, he stay consistent there and really get 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 a date so he could get his feet wet in the 168 pound division. But um, Jaime Mungia Egabalanga is a fight that could be happening maybe in June. You know, depending how. I think probably he's too 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 quick of a turnaround after a March fight because I think he's reported a fight in March. Ega Belanga talking, um, but I think it's gonna be a big fight with Ega Belanga and, and Jaime Mungia if they keep on uh, um you know elevating their game after the loss with Canelo Alvarez. Let me know what y'all think, man. Who you think is really taking this th- that experience losing to Canelo Alvarez serious? Who's going to be a better fighter after that loss? Is it going to be Edgar Belanga? Is it going to be Jaime Munguia? Do you see a big year 2025 for Edgar Belanga? Um, I'm just I'm just saying, you know, hopefully, ho- hopefully he's just you know uh, um, s- promoting himself for his brand and not really. Not really saying, not really feeling that he's the face of boxing. Because if you feel like he's the face of boxing already, 
I, I, it seems like that's it. He's complacent. He had, he, he he hit his mark. He hit his ceiling, and that and and that's that would be unfortunate. Hopefully not. I do like Edgar Belanga. I will support Edgar Belanga. New York City, you know what I'm saying? New York City got their champions like Tifa Lopez, Richardson Hitchens. Shout out to Richardson Hitchens for um for, get, for getting that crown. Y'all already know how many Serrano was the queen of boxing, queen of New York, queen of Puerto Rico. You know what I'm saying? The, the ambassador, um, the seventh division world champion. She got robbed out there in Dallas, Texas. But sure, we, we're going to get that trilogy back. Amanda Serrano is going... It, it, a man is around is going to be um, Katie Taylor. You better sign up for that three minute round. Three, three minute, three minute, 12 rounds. Let me know what y'all think, man. Subscribe to the channel, smash the like button. Love you. God bless.